Hello, I'm Mike Son from REACH 24 h Consulting Group, who will be presenting the changes of cosmetic regulation in the US and China. Those have an impact on global cosmetic industry. I'm so happy to meet you in advance through the video, and I can't wait for the In Cosmetics Asia show. As you know, cosmetic regulation amendments in the United States and China are bringing up about the challenges of not only the global cosmetic industry, but also to the cosmetic ingredient industry as well. The first uh, the point out is that the introduction of China's full version safety assessment system. This will uh, come into effect in May next year, and the biggest feature of this regulation is that it should conduct a safety assessment for each ingredient based on the toxicology data for all existing cosmetic ingredients, including plant extracts. Fortunately, some concerns have been resolved by the Chinese authorities announcing a separate safety ingredient management list, but still is expected to be a burden in the future. Secondly, it is the introduction of China's new cosmetic industry notification system. This new system first started to be applied in May 2021 has improved the tricky and difficult old system to introduce new ingredients to the Chinese market more easily. As a result, the accumulated number of notified new ingredients has exceeded 160 as of July 2024. Third, the introduction of the Cosmetic Modernization Act safety substantiation. The safety of each product has taken responsibility and eventually the compliance is carried out uh, based on the formulation composition information. The need for additional efforts from ingredient companies is inevitably increased. Last of all, we can't miss out United States laws uh, that manages cosmetic related substances, which needs a continuous attention per state. This is the key points I will cover during my In Cosmetics Asia session in Bangkok. And see you at the site. Kapung Kang.